Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend and a prosperous week. Um, we have better days are coming, you know, being able to uh, embrace ourself in different oneness and connecting in ways we never thought is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are, uh, if the videos is very informative to you or it just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that's going through some trying times right now and just needs confirmation or validations please go ahead and do so um share that's what i meant to say <laughs> and if uh please give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love i am greatly appreciated of that and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I love this uh, meditation. I've, I've used it before. It's called um, Remove Subconscious Negative Blocks, Wipe Out Negative Energy, Dissolve Negative Patterns. And it has Buddha, you know, my favorite. Let's see if y'all can see it. Oops, there it goes. Well, it's kind of, you can see it kind of. But, um,. Yeah, I love uh, doing Buddha uh, meditation music. And today, my my music, uh, I said my music, my um, content today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, always have the courage to be true to oneself. You know, we always have to be, uh, have that courage to be true to ourselves. You know, there's times when we can, we have been in situations that are very dark. Um, we've been in abusive situations you could have had abusive childhood you had a could have had an abusive uh relationship or it, it even can be in you know with best friends co-workers um just anybody because it's just like when when it comes to us empaths we i don't know why <laughs> but it's like we gravitate in situations like that i've never found well i have not found no impact that has not either been in a abusive marriage where either the, their significant others cheated on them beat on them or you know just said something to them that was very you know hurtful and we can be in situations like that for so long it's hard to actually give ourselves that worthiness you know um being able to be able to see we deserve to be happy uh we deserve to have love we should have good things coming to us and it's just like i've been in this situation for so long that i grew up to this that that's why i felt like you know that that was all it was in life and if if true love came to me i wouldn't know what it was about because it's like i've been in this situation like this my whole life so it's just like I know I had to be true to myself, knowing I deserve to be in a better situation. And until that time, I should be by myself. And it's not like, you know, I put, you know, at first I did put walls up. I'm not even going to lie. But it's like now when I can look at a situation, if I talk to my, my, my you know, my friends on a one-on-one -on -one basis and they're going through things, they're like, Rosalind, you know, I'm trying to get into a relationship and it's just not working. And I said, this is when it, when it's like that with you. When you try to find out anybody you try to holler at or holler at you or whatever y'all end up talking next to you know you find out they got women or men all lined up you know and they're not just dealing with you that is basically all the indications right there that you need to take time out for yourself to know what you want in life what makes you happy what makes you tick what makes your your light you know in your heart you know light up you know the things that you need to do for yourself that is your time for you to heal. You know, we work on ourselves knowing, you know, uh, there's more to life than 
you know, the abuse, the things that we have been dealt with, you know, and that takes our time. That takes time for you to be able to deal with, you know, all of us want somebody in our life or whatever, but it's like, you have to have that, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be able to love yourself within all measures. And it's just like, when you know you can love yourself in every aspect of your life, not, you know, belittle yourself. Cause I had a bad habit of doing it. I'm like, girl, look at your fat ass, this and this and this and that. You know, I used to do this to myself. And, you know, even my dad used to get mad at me about that. I hear him in my head saying, why do you talk down to yourself like that? I'm like, oh, dad, it's not nothing. That yeah, it is. You need to stop doing that. You know, my dad would get aggravated with me when I'd done that. So I had to really stop talking down to myself like that. Even though I was joking, it was like you're you're bashing yourself, you know, because I, I was so used to my dad and my stepmom doing that towards me. So it was like I have to look at myself in every aspect of loving myself. You're beautiful. Even if you have to be in the mirror and give yourself morning affirmations to set off your day saying you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're smart, you're intelligent, you're successful. You have to you have to put I am in front of all these positive things about yourself because you deserve that. You deserve to be able to put yourself on the pedestal and not to be looking down at anybody, but put yourself up there because there's so, so many times you have put yourself or you have gotten in the situations, not saying that you did that on your own, but if that's something you're used to you know it is is like in the norm for you to get into a relationship like that or it's like you're attracting it as well so it's just like when you know you have loved yourself on every measure you did things for yourself you you let go of toxic things whether it's like you know anything like your food and I have to keep telling myself about that too now I'm still working on that you know putting healthy foods in your life doing things make sure you know you exercise you do things that that you know makes you have a healthier lifestyle you know and I like that I do that I, I exercise every other day I'm trying to do that every day you know take nature walks I sing, I dance, you know, I act fun, you know, act funny, you know, do things that bring light to my life because I deserve that. You deserve that, you know, do things that make you happy. You know, if you don't know how you, you need to find the things that make you happy, you know, do you like to watch funny movies? Do you, you like walking out, you know, in the park or something like that? You have to find these things that give you light in your life. And when you know you have all these aspects towards yourself, you know, you love yourself. Then you start gravitate. You have people gravitating towards you that do the same for you as well. Cause it's just like I love it. Cause it's just the fact that I know I'm improving because all the people that I'm meeting up with me love me. Like I love myself as I love them. You know, so that is a beautiful thing. You know, it's like sometimes with us as you know empaths, we get those tag alongs that wants to come up and want to be negative or whatever. But then they bounce off of you like rubber. You know, you're like, okay, you do you need help with something? <laughs> you know, you got to ask them, do you need help with something? Because I'm just wondering why you're gravitating towards me. You know, you get them duds every once in a while that wants to come at you and speak negative. Like, I, I deal with it every once in a while when I come on my channel or whatever. And it's all right, you know, because it's just like when it when it comes to negative people or narcissistic people, I feel like when they gravitate towards us like that, those are the ones that need the help the most because they're so broken. They, when they pushing off all this other stuff towards people because of how they feel about themselves inside. So, you know, just make sure you're true to yourself. Do things that make you happy. Do things that make your heart flutter. And, you know, and if you're you're looking for a significant other, I know I said that yesterday about the, the uh, soulmates and stuff like that. But when you know you love yourself in every aspect and want nothing, no better, no less than that, you that's when you know, then you're going to have people coming towards yourself. So always make sure you're true to yourself. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Happy Monday. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Um, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line to let me know, you know, if you're gravitating towards that or you're saying things and you're doing things different for yourself to make you, you know, feel better about yourself. Be feeling better about your aura that you keep around you. Um, I'm giving a post notification shout out to... Um, let me see, let me see, I'm at 77, um, Clara, I think that's Clara, Lachey, Codwell, um, Art Phillips, and Sheila Lopez, much love to you, um, 
many blessings, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, because I know I am. I know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day, and I love y'all so much, and thank you so much for the support. And I will see you on my next video. I'm only going to do two more videos, because I'm going to do my workout, and I'm going to do some, you know, nature walking today, because I didn't do it yesterday. So I will see y'all on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.